Hi, welcome to Vendici Properties, local area guide. Today we're going to cover the area of Valverde. As we zoom in on the map, you can see clearly that Valverde is positioned just to the right hand side of the queue roundabout of Quinta Shopping and the main entrance into Quinta del Lago. It also has the road to Paneras Altos running past it, as well as the Ludo Valley area. Valverde is classified as an urbanisation, which as we know means it's non-gated with all roads deemed as open public roads. The public areas and infrastructure are maintained by Infraquinta. Planning regulations are governed by the local Lule Camera, which is the planning authority. There are approximately 52 standalone villas within the Valverde urbanisation. There is also a block of apartments with landscape communal pool area. There's a great selection of restaurants within Valverde, the very, very popular Green Valley, Florian and the Thai Bistro. There's no condominium charge in Valverde, so each owner buys in their own services, pool, garden, villa, manager, security, etc. This area has a very strong rental income during peak summer months. In terms of its proximity, obviously, to Kinta Shopping is a major plus and easy access to the golf courses. In front you will see some sample running costs for a four bed large villa standalone within Valverde. These are your standard costs that you could expect. They're split into two categories. Fixed costs, which whether you're using the house or not, you'll be paying, which is your IMI, which is your annual property tax, pool maintenance, garden maintenance, household insurance, your alarm monitoring and general security, TV and Wi-Fi, as well as your villa manager and your bill payment services. So they're your fixed, coming in around 11,000 euros. On top of that, you add your variable ones, which is, depending on usage, water and electricity, and then if you go for a daily, weekly clean option, as well as sending your linen out. So you're talking in and around probably 16,500. You probably add a bit for general household maintenance on an annual basis. Standard running cost and an urbanisation for a large four bed. As you will all know by now, I do love a good numbered map. Here's an example of the Valverde layout as it is at the moment. What I would say to you is you'd like to know what properties are available and their exact positioning. We'd be delighted to provide you with the numbers or indeed create a personalised Google map for you. After we've done the drive through, I'll also go into current pricings and what's actually available on the market in the Valverde area. Come on, let's go for a bit of a drive around Valverde so you can see what you can expect from this great location. update is based on prices for autumn 2018 for the Valverde area. In our view, 2017-18, Valverde came of age in terms of volume of property transactions. It would be considered to be a small urbanisation in comparison to other locations such as Verandas, etc. At this moment, we can only find four standalone villas on the market in Valverde. The cheapest has an asking price of 835 there are two other ones at 1.5 and we have a fantastic secret listing which is asking 2 million. We're unable to locate any apartments on the market as it stands despite what some agents may be advertising. If you're interested in viewing the above properties just let us know. We'd be delighted to arrange the full listing including our secret options. If you're a vendor in Valverde we'd also be interested in hearing from you. Thank you for watching this local area guide for the Valverde urbanisation. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you want any more information about purchasing costs, running costs, exactly what's on the market. Here to help and always happy to do so. 